it sounds so obvious that it's supposed to be fun and you're supposed to be there to play a game. But I was saying to Marcia, even the other day, I was saying to a parent that's getting really hepped up on the sideline, like, no, they're learning. And he was like, I'm not here for fun. And it just struck me like, this is not fun for the, them or the kid. This is, you know, they want something from this. Like, um, I just, I find, I'm just getting really curious around that. You know, what's your sort of take on, with kids, you know, developing kids to be footballers, like, yeah, I, I see a sign uh, whenever I go to many venues. I think it's a, an FA sign, perhaps, and it, we all do positive signing. It says 95% of the children or 90% of the children do better with positivity. And I was kind of looking at it. I think it's probably closer to 100. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, and and I'll, I've always kind of down the, down the years of, of working in different levels of football and having different hats on as a coach, as a, as a parent, as a safeguarding lead, all sorts of different situations I, I'm my son's biggest critic I'm always going to tell him how it is uh, or, or, or I'm always going to be hard on her because she needs to hear the truth from me nobody else will tell her the truth and, and I'd argue that's that's probably not the case really is it they probably just want you love and care about. it's it's sad that that's seen as acceptable or even worse that it's seen as required to somehow toughen up your child or make them better or, or whatever it might be and it also just undermines, that's the word I'm looking for, undermines the coach, undermines everybody else that's trying to play and trying to help. Uh, it's just not helpful, is it? <laughs>